Alright guys, we are back on floor 90 of TOA Normal. Um, I thought this was going to be something special or something something cool. Um, I forgot that it, the, the, it was probably this stage. Um, yeah, I think I did a video on this. It was on like 52 months ago. And it's not it's not really hard. It's just uh, you, you kind of have to watch out for a few things when you're doing this floor. Um, and I kind of got bored of using the same exact team, so I decided to throw in some units. The, this this guy over here is definitely not farmable. Wait, you can't even see my mouse. Um, Eridas, the Light Sylph, but he's from a previous Hall of Heroes, so I raised him to 6 stars. You don't necessarily need to use him. You don't even need to have this guy. You could probably just use something, um, you know, you could always use like Pheromos or something for Despair Stuns. Cause I, but I decided to switch it up a bit, you know, because I've been using Pheromos too much. And this war, um, there's not that much to watch out for. Just if you can try to keep them stunned as much as possible. They do have that attack attack buff. So Megan puts attack buff on the boss, which makes him hit quite hard. Um, and Acasis has that really annoying shield. But besides that, his her heals not that much. Um, the dots obviously is going to be a little bit annoying, but you can always. I don't have anyone to take off dots right here, but they only have single target dots. It's not like they have a bunch of dots. I can always just heal through that. So. There's no real problem here. The only problem is like if you have too too many buffs, um, the I forgot what his name is. Chiwu is gonna keep removing that, so you want to be able to not rely on that many buffs. Um, obviously, Bernard's speed buff. If you have Bernard, is all, always really useful. I don't have any speed buff or attack bar fill for this team, but I do have an AOE slow. So for this this stage, I would say debuffs is a lot stronger than buffs. You want to be able to debuff them as much as possible. So I'm going to start the turn now. I'm going to try to kill Megan. Uh, I'm going to armor break both Megans because I have Violent Proc. Use Double Cycle and try to stun as much as possible. If you're using Veramals, you just use your stun. Um, keep them slowed. And I'm going to reset this guy so he can't like do anything to me. I'm going to buff up with defense or something. Like that. This is this is about to hurt. And take out his, his buff so he can't hit me that hard. I'm going to apply Glancing. And at the same time, try to despair stun them. And we're just going to start stacking our dots. Let's keep him provoked so he doesn't remove my defense buff. Uh, let's keep this other Megan provoked as well so she can't buff up for attack power buff. And now let's just let the stun fest begin. Stun. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's put armor break on this on her as well. Oh wait, she's provoked. I need to stun her. Well, it doesn't matter. Come on, land the decrease. Yes, nice, nice. Actually, I didn't need to land. I was gonna turbulence him anyways. All right, turbulence failed. He's probably gonna remove my defense buck. Um, but my stun is ready on my er Eridas. Yeah, so. We're just going to keep them stunned, and we're going to keep <laughs> hitting them. Uh, I'm going to provoke him so he doesn't do anything crazy. Oh, wait, he already used his third skill, so it doesn't really matter anymore. Let's put some glancing. Let's keep hitting Megan. Stack more dots. Keep hitting Megan. Provoke him. Stun Megan. Didn't stun. Keep the slow on. Let's uh let's reset him. I think this Megan still has her buff like off cooldown. So actually it doesn't really matter even if she buffs up. Like I don't I don't really care. I can just remove it or something. Oh shit, the shield is definitely annoying. I'm gonna remove the attack buff off the boss just so he doesn't hit me too hard. Try to stun all four of them again. Nice. Got that lucky stun. And we're going to keep hitting Megan. We're just going to keep keep on hitting this Megan until she dies. That is the plan over here. Let's decrease their attack bar some more. Stack even more dots. And continue to hit Megan. That is the plan. Actually, I should provoke the boss. Uh, let's... They, they already... Acasis already used her shield, so I don't really care anymore about keeping Acasis done. This... Probably I, I probably even shouldn't even include this in TOA's hardest floors. Like this 
This boss stage is relatively easy. Uh, cases are pretty much useless. Like they they don't really do anything. Their shields you can you know they it doesn't really um, make them a threat. It only makes them annoying. It just prolongs the fight. And you don't really need to burst anyone down. It's really easy to control all five of these units. If I didn't mess up so many times with my provoke, I probably would have been able to stop the Megans from ever buffing up or him from ever using his third skill. So we're gonna provoke him again. We're gonna hit this Megan. Obviously, you don't need to provoke him. Like it's not super scary. It's not like the end of the world if he uses this skill. Um, there's 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 not that much threat on this this floor, so it's not like you know it's it's, it's you can make up for anything like any damage you take, any debuffs, any random crap on this floor with just healing. So bring two healers, bring some speed buff, bring some slows, um, AOE dots, and then you're you're good. You just you just keep doing this over and over until they all die. Um, obviously, if you have a strong nuker, as I said before in, in the previous boss floors, you can always nuke down the boss. Um, it's pretty easy. Like It's not the hardest thing to do. They don't really have any threats. So it's, it's pretty easy to bring a nuker onto this floor and just take down the boss easily. But for the sake of making a guide, I'm just going to do this slowly. Like I, I would do this if this was on a higher floor of TOA or a higher floor of TOA hard or something like that. Um, I'm obviously going to kill the Megans first because they do pretty much... The only threat here is Megan's attack buff and the boss nuking with his third skill uh, while he has the attack buff on. But if you have anything to remove the attack buff, it's not that um, it's not really that scary. Especially with my arrow that's like stunning like crazy every four turns. Come on, Megan. You are going down. We oh, yeah, also have glancing hit, so like they glance like half the time. I think this is pretty much GG for this Megan. Uh, I'm gonna try to despair on their cases some, just you know, some more, because I think their shield is off cooldown. And I, I really don't want them shielding again. It's gonna just drag the fight on even longer. Um, so I think th this is enough dots to kill their cases. I should have provoked. Shit, shit, shit. You just removed it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, after after the a cases dies, one Megan dies. There's pretty much no threat. You can just auto the four. Just hit that auto button and then just wait until you win. Yeah, especially if you have two healers, there's really no no more threat. Um, he's just he's just gonna keep doing his thing, but you don't really even have to care. Just leave it on auto, and he's gonna die eventually. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's gonna be a few more floors left floor 90 and above I think there's gonna be a few maybe like four or five floors between this floor and the boss floor and then I'll finish on the boss floor and do all my summonings afterwards come on come on Yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I think they're dead. Got that light dark scroll. And I'm going to continue, and um, I'll see you guys in the next floor. Peace out.